This is a quick preview of web access. You can go to Kenyatta College's homepage and in the upper right hand corner is web access. You can also just type the URL smccd.mrooms.net. You type your G number and your password is going to be your six digit birth date. And you can click on login and you will be at your home page. Your home page has my courses links on the left hand side and so you just scroll down until you see your course, the course that you want to log into that is going to be Math 200 Probability and Statistics Fall 2013. This is going to be our home page for our course site. On the left hand side are blocks the first block are activities, the next block is a forum search, and then we have an upcoming events, and then the last block here that you'll see um, is going to be your administrative block that allows you to check grades and adjust your profile. So if you haven't already done so, the first thing I would ask you to do is go to your profile and go to edit profile and then fill in the piece of information here and then I would highly suggest that you put up a new picture of yourself so that we can identify you. Up on top wherever you move around in web access you have a trail of breadcrumbs they call them and you can always go back to this 90046 fall 2013 to get back to your home page. Your grades can be found here and they will be updated as we go along in the semester. The upcoming events show the events that are going to be due and the first thing that's going to be due for our course is a math autobiography that's due on August 20th. So you can jump on that and click on that if you want. So this, these are the instructions for the autobiography and once you've done the instructions you can choose the file on your desktop and then upload the file to be able to submit your assignment. We also have a calendar view where you can look at the calendar on the right hand side here and see when things are due and you can get detailed information in the main body here of things that are going to be due. You can also create your own event with a specific date and time so that you can have this in your calendar as well. So the list of activities are activities that are actually posted here in the main part of the site. So the Math Autobiography is an assignment and that can be found under Assignments, Math Autobiography, uploading a single file. And if you click on that, that will send us to that same place where we saw the autobiography through the calendar. Okay. The middle part or the main part of the, of the course site are the blocks and the blocks are broken up by weeks except for the first block. The first block is always going to be visible but if you scroll down we have week one, week two and the dates start on a Monday. What you can do is that if we're at a specific week like, like say we're in the third week of the course we can click on this little box over here that shows one week at a time. So we have the main block in the beginning and then the one week that is going to be visible. If you want to see all the weeks again, you can click on that same block and then it'll show all the weeks. 
just in case though if all the other weeks are hidden and you want to jump to say not week three but week something else you can jump to week 10 or jump to week one by clicking on this jump to option so for every week what we have are the readings the chapters and then there's a video and an assignment all these links over here take you outside of this website. These links over here are links to actual work that we're going to be doing in this within this website. Well, except for this homework, which will also take you outside of this website. So just to show you, the textbook can be found online. And this is where the textbook would take us. Uh, Collaborative Statistics is the book that we're using. So you can read through this book online if you want. This actual hard copy of the textbook will also be available at the library and at the bookstore. There are videos for this as well. By clicking on the video, you would need a QuickTime plug-in on your computer, but this video is made by the actual author of the book that we're using. Barbara Olowski. Hi, I'm Barbara Olowski and welcome to Elementary Statistics. And so she goes through all the points and topics in each chapter. It'll take about half an hour to view if you wanted to view the whole thing. You can of course fast forward or rewind as needed. The homework will be done out of this website. It'll take you to a new website. And so that part of the orientation will be discussed in another video. So I hope this helps out for the beginning. And once you get used to this website, it'll be easy for the rest of the semester. Good luck.